welcome learners i am dr smriti sikha sotri from krishna kanta handi state open university today i am going to discuss uh, from your marketing management uh, study material a unit uh, which is consumer buying behavior this is the third unit of your study material so the outline of this presentation are after going through this presentation you will be able to define consumer behavior then i will explain the meaning and characteristics of consumer behavior then i will describe the various types of buying decision behavior and then at the end of this presentation i will discuss the steps which are involved in consumer buying decision process first uh, let us discuss what is consumer behavior the term consumer behavior can be defined as the behavior of consumers display in the process of searching purchasing using evaluating and disposing the products and services that they expect will satisfy their needs and wants so uh, what is consumer behavior that means uh, when consumer wants to purchase something whatever information they will search that behavior is known as consumer behavior there are different characteristics of consumer buying behavior first uh, consumer behavior is the part of human behavior as we all human behave differently it to different situations like human behavior decides what to buy when to buy how to buy etc so these behavior are very much unpredictable in nature then uh, consumer behavior is a complex phenomenon as each individual behaves differently when he or she is placed at different situations so while buying product the same product uh, while we purchase different people will uh, behave differently that's why it is con uh, considered as a complex phenomenon then consumer behavior is a dynamic process a consumer's behavior is always changing in nature because with the change in time our taste changes our preferences changes because of which the, uh, we consider consumer behavior as a dynamic process then consumer behavior is influenced by psychological social and physical factors a consumer may be influenced by his or her uh, attitudes perceptions belief intention and likewise uh, we can say that uh our behavior our buying behavior it is influenced by our friends our family members our own perception about a particular brand or a product then a consumer may be also loyal with her product due to its status values in a society etc another may uh, stick with her product due to its economy and price sometimes consumer purchases a product because of its price if uh, they get the product at a lower price definitely uh, he or she might stick to that particular product and sometimes we also have the loyal customers so loyal customers generally purchases the same brand of product each time they purchase so consumer behavior changes uh, along with these characteristics then a uh, study of consumer behavior is a uh, crucial for marketers because for a marketer to get the product sold is very important and before purchasing a product or launching a product a marketer has to go through a clear analysis of the consumer behavior if the uh, people or prospects rejects the product he has to modify it after buying it if the buyer is satisfied with the product he shows a positive behavior and if he or she is not satisfied with the product then uh, they will show negative behavior towards the product so to know the consumer behavior is very much essential for a marketer types of buying decision behavior in the process of buying by consumers there is display of different buying decisions like complex and expensive purchases are likely to involve more buyer deliberation and more number of decision participants it is about the degree of involvement to which the consumer feels attached to the product or brand and the loyalty felt towards it so for expensive products consumer uh, gives more deliberation towards the buying decision consumer buying behavior basically comprises of the following four decision making process first one is complex buying behavior 
Consumers go through complex buying behavior when they are highly involved in a purchase and are aware of significant differences among the brands. Consumers are like highly involved when the product is expensive but infrequently risky and highly self-expressive. So for expensive products, we are require more complex buying behavior. Then the second one is dissonance reducing buying behavior. Sometimes consumer is highly involved in a purchase but sees little difference in the brands. So the high involvement is again based on the fact that the purchase is expensive. High involvement is again based on the fact that the purchase is expensive, infrequent and risky. The buyer may respond primarily uh, to a good price or to purchase convenience. So when there is little difference among the brands, that time uh, the customers basically stick on to the either uh, whatever is convenient to them or if they get it in a uh, good price. Then the third one is habitual buying behavior. Many products are bought under conditions of low consumer involvement and the absence of significant brand differences. In this case, consumers do not search extensively for information about the brand or their characteristics. Just for example, uh, while buying bread, butter or any uh, daily use products, we hardly think about it and we, whatever we purchase earlier, out of habit we purchase the same thing. So the fourth type is your uh, variety seeking buying behavior. Some buying situations are characterized by low consumer involvement but significant brand differences. Here consumers are often observed to do a lot of brand switching. Brand switching occurs for the sake of variety rather than dissatisfaction. Just think of the example of biscuits. We generally don't purchase the same brand, same type of biscuits again and again. We, uh, we go for variety. That's why it is known as variety seeking buying behavior. Now I will discuss the consumer buying decision process. This process goes through several steps. The first step is problem recognition. That means the consumer will identify what type of product they require. So first stage is your problem recognition. Then comes the second stage that is information search. In this stage, consumer will go through different information related to that product or services. Just for example, if we consider that uh, I want to purchase a car. Then the inform in information search, I will go through all the advertisement, bulletins, newspaper, other information. Then I will uh, go through all this information, which car I should buy. Then evaluation, that means evaluation of alternatives. So in this uh, stage, I will consider which price will be better for me, what are the features they were offering, what are the other benefits they were offering, and then I will select the um, best one which suits me. In this stage is known as your purchase decision. Here you will purchase the product. And the last stage is your post purchase evaluation. In this stage, after purchasing the product, whether we are satisfied with the product or we are not satisfied with the product, uh, that we will consider. Like if you are satisfied with the product, you will say other, you will inform other people also to purchase the same product. Or if you are not satisfied with the product, again you will convey to your friends, colleagues, etc. that this product is not nice. So this is the uh, consumer buying behavior stages. Hope you have understood this video lecture. I'll see you again with another video lecture. Thank you.